I wanted to do an experiment. This experiment is all about color. And my friend Pixie here wants to do it too, I think. Pixie, come on over here. Come on over here. Our friends can't see. Oh, you have your back to the camera. Come on over, excuse me. Let's just move her over, there we go. So what we'll need for this experiment is some water. We will also need some paper towels and some clear cups. Let's count how many cups we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the first thing we're going to do is fill every other cup with water. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now that our cups are about three quarters full with water, the next step is to add the food coloring. So I have red and yellow and blue. It's nice to work with primary colors. So the first cup, I'm going to put in five drops of red food coloring. Please be careful because it does stain. One, two, three, four, five. And also five drops in the last cup. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, those drops come out quickly. And then next, in the third cup, I'm going to put in five drops of yellow. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe one more. Oh, two more. Finally, the blue will go into this cup. Do you see them changing color? Oh, this one needs to have the paper taken off. There we go. All right. So our last color goes in. That was a little bit more than five, but that's probably okay. So then the next step is to take six pieces of paper towel and we are going to fold them so they're about this wide. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So my paper towels are folded and now the magic begins. What you do is you start with one cup and you make sure the paper towel goes all the way to the bottom and then all the way to the bottom of the second cup and you keep repeating this until the paper towel is inside all of the cups. So I've put all the paper towels in the cups and we got to give it some time to wait and see what happens. The theory is that the colors will walk from one cup to the other and they'll absorb into the paper towels and as they go through each color, they will change color when one meets the other. So we're going to wait a little bit and then we'll see what happens. The paper towels have been soaking for about 10 minutes. You can see they're starting to move through the paper towels from one to the other. It's a bit of a slow process, but we're going to check again in just a few minutes. So it's been about 40 minutes since I last started the experiment and I noticed something quite interesting is that the cups that didn't have any water in them have now got water in them. See this cup right here? Can you see all that water? So the paper towel is actually moving the water from one cup to the other. That one has a little less water in it. And you can see that the colors are slowly transferring over from one cup into the other. That one's got a, quite a bit of water in it as well. So we will check back again in just a little while. Okay, so 
it's actually been a couple of hours since we've had the paper towel sitting in the water. And do you see what's happened? The color has slowly walked from one cup to the other. It's pretty interesting. Well, doesn't the experiment look different from when I first started? The paper towels don't look white anymore. The color has completely absorbed through all the paper towels from one cup to the other. And I wonder if I leave it even longer, what will happen? I have so many questions. Questions like, what would happen if I put more water in the cups? What would happen if I put the cups further away or closer together? What would happen if I added more food coloring to the water? All these questions. It would be interesting if you'd like to try and then you can share your thoughts with us and see how it turned out for you. I would wait longer, but I think I'll try it again another time because I waited a very long time. While I was waiting, I had my dinner, I played some music, I played with my cats, Teddy and Pixie, and now it's close to my bedtime. I just wanted to give you an update on my color experiment. So it's the next morning and I thought I would leave them just to see what would happen. Can you tell the difference? We have some new colors here. I see purple and I see green and I see orange. So I left the water in for quite a few hours overnight to be exact. And this is what happened. And also, if you notice, there's the exact same amount of water in every single cup. Isn't science fantastic? So thanks for watching friends and I hope you enjoyed this experiment and I hope you can give it a try too. We'll see you later.